Hi everybody, in today's video I'm going to show you exactly how I use my printables. So you, if you're a, already a subscriber then you know that I give away some free holistic health printables when you sign up to be on my email list. So you might be wondering what ways you can use these or for that matter what ways you can use any printables because you might only be following me because of the the niche that it is, which is holistic health. But I also make printables, and that's how I make my money, and that's what my products are. They are all, well, some are digital, but most of them are printable. All of them are digital in the format, but they're meant to be printed out. And so you might be wondering why this is better than buying an actual planner, a hardcover planner in the store. So there's many reasons why this is better. So the first one I'm going to say is it's way cheaper. If you're on a budget, this is the cheapest way that you can be healthy is by printing off these printables and using them every day. And also, like I said, you're not buying a hardcover book. And sometimes those hardcover planners are $20, $30, $40 even. I've, I have had some that are $40. And I don't prefer those, but... I buy them for inspiration, for ideas, and because, I mean, I, I do like some of them, but the reason why I prefer planner or printable planners is because you can use them forever, and it's, like I said, it's way more inexpensive because, I don't know if you can see this um, price tag here, but I paid $2 for this at Goodwill, and it's a nice hardcover binder. And it's, um, I put the sticker on there so you can decorate them however you want. You don't have to splurge on these types of things because, like I said, any thrift shop is going to have these for a dollar or two. And so then the other reason why is because the actual printables themselves are super cheap too. Um, there's a lot of them that are only a dollar. A lot of them are only two dollars. And depending on how many pages you get in the planner, it's probably going to be less than $10. I have four planners that are worth $10 because they are, well, I think I have them for nine on my Etsy shop because they are, um, the information is what's worth the money uh, on those. They're, they help guide you into how to live a holistic lifestyle. They teach you how to be healthy and they give you all the information that you need. So they're more than just planners. They are, you know, transformation um, tools. So, but now the ones that I'm going to talk about in this video are a little more inexpensive because what they are really just daily planners, weekly planners, checklists, and those sorts of things. So you're only going to be getting a couple pages, and so they're only going to be two or three or four or five dollars. And so why they are a great deal is because you pay once and you can print them forever as many times as you need. So I'm going to show you what I just put together today. Even though it's March of 2021, I, I have a 2021 printable planner that I'm using and I wanted to make a video to show you how I use these things. So I'm going to pretend like it's the beginning of the year and I'm going to show you how I did this. So the first page here is my year at a glance from my 2021 planner. And I put this on one of those um, plastic sleeves. Now you just slide it in and it's um, it's got a holes so that you can punch, you can put the paper in there without being punched and then you can put this little sleeve in there. So this particular planner actually came with all of these inserts for the month. So there's January through December, um, but you can buy these kind of inserts anywhere and they can be ones that have no label so that you can put your own label on them. So the first page here, this is January, so this is my January page. Um, this, this page and this page are dated because they kind of have to be if you want the year at a glance. And um, I, I, um, not at the moment, but I will be putting up some, actually I do, I do have some months that don't have dates on them. So if you're looking for planners for the months that don't have dates, I do have some of those in my Etsy shop. But this particular one is just for 2021. 
So then the next page of it is the weekly page, and this is not dated because I know a lot of people might do the same thing that I do. You might write some things down, and then, you, you know, you get into the habit of it, but then you kind of forget, and then you might find yourself, like, a month later, like, oh, I never used any more of those pages. So then you can go back and print out a new one and write in the dates. That way you're not wasting. So this is one thing I noticed when you buy those um, pre-made planners in the store, you have to use it, otherwise it's a waste. You can never use that one again because it's dated. So that's why I like these printable ones because they're usually undated and then you can use them forever. And when you fill them up, print out a new one and then you can put it right back into your binder. And that's why binders are so amazing because you can have this thing forever and just the, the contents on the inside will change. So here's the daily page. This is um, like for scheduling your appointments and the things you have to do. So it starts at 6 a.m. and I got it color-coded so the a.m. is the light green and then the p.m. is the purple and then it ends at 5.30 a.m. So um, that's that. And then so here are my foundations of physical, spiritual, and mental health daily checklists. Now you might notice that these are a little different than the ones that you have because these are the original ones that I made and these were more like a solid color and the print was bigger and I kind of felt like that looked a little dated so I decided to redo them. So most likely if you're watching this and you are on my email list and you have these, you'll notice that the ones you have look different. But it's the same information. It's literally the same stuff. I just redid them. So I like to put these in my binder so that I can remember to do these every day. And, and then I got some paper, the regular loose leaf notebook paper, and these are good for journaling. I also use my journals, like sometimes I'll print off my journal pages, the ones that I create and sell, and then I put them in these too. But for this particular one here, this, act, this binder actually came with this paper in it, so I just left it in there. Um, so really all I did was add my, my planner pages. But I just wanted to give you an example of how you can use these. Um, so they're kind of versatile. You can use them like in a clipboard or just leave them loose, put them in a folder. You can use a magnet and attach them to your refrigerator if you really wanted to you know, see everything all the time, like walk by it and see it. Um, but I like to put them in binders because that way they're all in one place. They're kind of organized. And this is how I organize it. So I got my year at a glance first. That, that way I always know if I, you know, what what day does something fall on. I can always check and it's always at the beginning. And I, I, like, I like to put things in this plastic sleeve because it keeps it from getting dirty since that page is going to get touched a lot. And then, yeah, I, I really like to put all these together. Uh, I like to have the monthly one, the weekly one, and the daily one. And then I like to put these in there too because, like I said, the reason for these is to remember to do them every day. So if you've got a daily binder that you use every day, that is where these are perfect. So I just, I've been obsessed with these kind of things my entire life. I've been obsessed with paper. I've been ex obsessed with binders and organization and filing and, and those sorts of things. So I just, I'm kind of a nerd about that. So you might not be quite that extreme about it, but I just wanted to give make a video here to give these ideas for how you can use those. So if you enjoyed this video and got any benefit out of it, give it a like and maybe share this video with some of your friends that are into organization and planners and want to save money on making them themselves. I also have, for anyone that's interested, I've got a course coming out soon that will teach you how to make these printables. So it's going to be um, using PowerPoint, which is what I use. So if you have any interest in that, keep an eye out on this channel and sign up to be on my email list and then you'll get notified. And you'll also get discounts uh, on my website or on my, my subscription people, <laughs> my email list. I give discounts for everything that I sell. And um, I actually have another course that's out too. I'm, I'm in the middle of remaking that and making it better, but I'm also... Then after that, I'm going to put out the video or the, the course for the how to make the printables, which is even a better deal because then you can make them yourself, which is so you're saving yourself even more money, but you're also making money by, by selling these. I sell them on Etsy, so 
So it's a great, it's a great little side business to get into, and um, I just had to share how I made them because there's a lot of people that want to learn how to make those. So um, once again, be sure to subscribe to this channel, and I'm gonna leave links to everything down in the in the description. So be sure to read that. And thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.